Hi there, welcome to the first Noel the Costa question time. Um, these are questions targeted towards me with the hope of getting you guys to learn a little bit more about me, um, where I've been, where I've gone, etc. etc. So it's just it's just gonna be 10 questions um, and then hopefully in a fortnight's time when I collect the next 10 questions uh, we'll go again. So It'll be a nice opportunity for you guys in the meantime to ask me questions as well, to send me a message, um, go on my website, www.noelwithacostamusic.com, send me a message via there, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash noelwithacostamusic, etc, etc. Um, yeah, so you can ask your questions and I can prepare the next 10 questions. So, here we go. Question one. name and introduction here. Yeah. Well, that's easy enough, isn't it? So, yep, yeah, um, my full name, Noel Junior Acosta Johnson, born in Archway, singer, songwriter, performer, soulful, vocal, ugh, soulful versatile vocalist. And the reason I say versatile is that I've been linked into different genres, soul, pop, house, rock, reggae, garage, and just general EDM music as well. So, there you go. Question two. Are you a full-time musician? <laughs> no, I am not. Um, full-time musician. Now that doesn't pay the bills unfortunately. Um, I work full-time for a lighting manufacturer um, here in London, Essex. Um, quick plug, MSL Essex um, Limited, um, manufacturer of bespoke lighting for the commercial, the commercial market mostly, but um, we do touch on the residential side as well. So that's something that you architects and consultants out there are interested in, give me a holler. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the music is at the moment just a, just a hobby, uh, it's something that I really love, obviously. I've been writing for a very long time and performing for a while and stuff, so it just keeps me out of trouble, just keeps that sort of creative, creative juice flowing, uh, just like my job as well, being creative in that, in that sense, um, manufacturing as well so there's a there's a pattern there of creating um, design etc etc like these shirts these are my shirts yeah buddy if you're interested in get yourself one just send me a message and I will hook you up next question where can we hear your music where can we hear your music you can hear my music on all streaming platforms, Deezer, YouTube, uh, what's it, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, um, I said that already? Um, CD Baby, just type, just type in Noel DeCosta Music, my first album and only album to date is still out there, which is uh, The Soul Man From The Ends. Um, in house music, just go to Beatport again. Yes, yeah, I'm featured on a few house tracks. Um, they're working with anybody from the UK to Sweden to Germany to the Netherlands. So I, I mix it up worldwide. Um, so you can find me on Beatport. Just again, just type in Noel de Costa and, you, and you'll find me anywhere else. That's it, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, next question. Question number three. No, question number four. Where did you start? When did you start getting into music? When did you start getting into music? Wow. When did I start getting into music? Uh, when did I start getting into music? Well, music was always prolific in my household as a, as a young kid. Um, uh, Jamaican household. My, da my dad had reggae parties, blues parties, soul parties, 
feels like every weekend um, I'll listen to a whole array of music, so going to music in that, in that sense, music was constantly pumped into my head. Um, my dad always likes to tell the story when I was in nappies and I was dancing away to a, a blues song called, called Jim, Jim Dandy by Laverne Baker. I started sure. dancing from that. Um, the house parties, I just used to come down and I don't know if you guys remember the Cosby show when the family ever so often got the kids out and do a little dance and entertain the grandparents and the, 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 the adults. Yeah, that was that was me, me and my brother. Um, so yeah, I've always been into music from an early age. Yeah, I think that answers that question. Question five. When did you write your first song? When did I write my first song? I think when I was about 10 or 12. My first song that I can remember that I wrote and uh, a friend of mine called Carl Hines, who's a He's a producer and a, a, a rapper, hip hop artist, very prolific in the hip hop scene in the UK. Carl Hines, check him out. Um, he done really well over here. Um, yeah, but um, I went round his house and uh, wrote a song called "Wrote and Recorded" with his production. Uh, a song called "Girl Don't Tease." That was. Yeah. I almost wonder if he's still got that. It would be funny to hear that. Um, my voice hasn't even broken then. <laughs> for a great to hear that again. So yeah, um, around the ages of 10. Um, question six. What music are you into? Oh, wow. I think I said that a bit earlier. I'm into everything. Man. Um, pop. R&B, soul, reggae, uh, rock, EDM, house, garage, yeah, um, I really am warm to the music that really hype and get people move, moving and bubbling and yeah, that, I like that, but um, yeah, I'm pretty much into it, I'm versatile as I said that uh, in my introduction, I'm versatile, I like all music, um, yeah. Who are your influences? Who are your influences? Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, my mother, mother and father. My mum, she likes reggae, rock and roll, and country music. Uh, and my dad like roots, reggae, jazz. Rock. Yeah, he liked um oh, what's that what's that band called? Um Ozzy uh what's it called? Black Sabbath. My dad loved Black Sabbath, yeah, random. Yeah, my dad was a, a big Black Sabbath fan. Um he was a big lover of the track called National Acrobat. Um, you wanna see him go when that goes when that comes on. Um, yeah, so my mother and father, um, Michael Jackson, James Brown, Jackie Wilson, uh, Luther Vandross, Prince. Um, yeah, most of the old time artists. Uh, Motown, um, Bob Marley, Mighty Diamonds. Wow, there's just too many to all have had an influence in my sound. And, I present myself, voice, flow, yeah, there we now. Question eight, name three things people won't know about you. Name three things people won't know about you. Um, okay, one, um, I suffer from uh, a condition called ankylosing spondylitis which is a spinal, a spinal illness, which I've had for 
some time, probably over 20 years or so. I've had that all stem from an athletic injury. So, yeah, I managed that okay. Um, exercise is a, is a perfect um, minimal cure for that. Not really a cure example, uh, exactly, but helps keep it at bay. Um, so, yeah. I, I, I exercise when I can. Um, so that's that. What else? Uh, two. Uh, used to be a sprinter, um, and that's I guess that's how the ankle sport spotlight is kicked in. Um, it all stemmed from an athletic injury that I that I got. Um, I used to be a semi-pro. I ran for Newman Essex Beagles. Uh, which and I just, which was the same club as Daley Thompson. I had a coach that um, the same coach as Daley had um, back in the day. His name was Bob Bob Mortimer. Rest in peace, Bob. Um, I was the fastest man in Essex early nineties, which was great. Uh, I was the seventh fastest. Youngster in the in the whole of the UK um, when I went into the English schools competition, uh, so that was cool. So yeah, I was a I was a budding sprinter, 100 meters and 200 meters. So there you go. Is that, am I saying two? Where am I now? Is that two? Is that two? Oh, three. Oh, three. What else? Um, three. I auditioned for the X Factor twice. Twice. Uh, judges said, great voice, but not suitable for the show. So yeah, I left that there. So I think that's the three things. Okay. Question number nine, almost there. Live or studio and why? Live, all the time, live. Um, reason being live, live always brings out something a little bit different um, out of me. Um, crowd participation is great, getting the crowd involved. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a great feeling performing live. It's just great. You know what, mate? Um, yeah. Ten. Last and not least. Ten. If you wasn't a musician, what would you be? Wow. If I wasn't a musician, what would I be? What would I be? Um, Big Teddy, yeah. I still be Teddy. Um, it's my son, by the way, Deshaun. Say hi, Deshaun. Hi, Oak. Hi, my How are you doing? <laughs> Um, if I wasn't a musician, what would I be? Oh, wow. Um, be enlightened. <laughs> Definitely be enlightened. Um, exercising my artistry within that, within that, within that kind of genre. Um, graphic designer, lighting designer. Yeah. Um, Maybe something to do with sport as well. Um, exercise, think about the athletic base. Um, I, I was a keen fighter as well. I like I like boxing and martial arts and stuff. So wow, again versatile. A mixture of so much stuff, um, but something that was something to do with art, something artistic. Uh, yeah, that would have been me. I think that's it. Ten questions. Wow, scary but fun. I uh, hope you learned just a little bit more about Noel. Um, send your questions in. Uh, hopefully I can collate another 10 questions and we can go again. Uh, hopefully in a fortnight time, but if I haven't had 10 questions by then, I'll wait an extra week, but let's see how we get on. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time, same place, same time. Bye. 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 Bye.